if I grab this can I was afraid of this point going puncturing the can and I've had a lot of punctured cans over my 10 year stint with uh, prosthesis. Oh yeah I knew it. Oh ah. Oh yeah I knew it. Oh ah. I knew this thing would pop a can and I was right. Hey, no handed bandit here. You might notice that uh, I'm looking a little different. It's, uh, well, it's because of this hook. No, just kidding. I did shave my beard. Uh, and uh, this video is uh, episode uh, 88, I believe. Hope you guys had a great 4th of July. Boom, 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 shakalaka, boom, shakalaka. Today's video we are going to cover a question that was sent in the comments, and this is the comment. It's from Leanne Carr. Leanne's in California, and uh, I met her at an amputee conference, and she's a hilarious young lady. And uh, she watched the uh, toileting video, and I, I'll, I'll let you, I'll let her tell her joke, but uh, it, her joke is hilarious about that. Anyways, I'm glad she's still watching, and I'm glad uh, that I can help. She says, can you go through and also show the pros and cons of the different styles of hooks that you have worked with, and also how they applied to you these past years? Thank you again. Stay safe and healthy. XOXO Purple Heart. Okay, as you can see by the intro, I popped uh soda can and i have a lot of funny stories about popping soda cans uh i would tell you there was this the funniest one um i was in a store uh, a convenience store a gas station and uh, i went back to get a soda and pulling them out of the rack out of the coolers is a little bit hard because you can get a little bit of that back pressure and then that little point on the hook can sometimes pop it and then it's spraying out or in here inside there right whoop, whoop, right there that thing if you take a big bite on that can with those two it can pop it um, and it was funny because I pulled it out and psh, it was popping and I was like, oh no! And then I stretched out my arms and of course the can fell down and the can was psh, spraying and like I was taking a shower. It was like I was the champion team, <coughs> just like taking a shower in NOS. And uh, because the NOS was spraying out and the can was round, it was pushing it, so it started being propelled, it was like and the, the can was rolling and it was rolling backwards and uh, I was like, oh gosh, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know what to do so I grabbed another can and I went to the cashier and I said, hey, there's my purchase uh, there's a mess in the back, oh my gosh, I can't believe it <coughs> spray coke Nos was spraying everywhere <laughs> and uh, there's been a several of those it's hard when they stack all the cans and all the weight of all those cans it's it's a brand new stack in the morning and you try to pull it out but you have to push it forward and then pull it out uh, because it's pushing so hard against the front of the rack Anyways, I hope you can understand some of that, but it, it was a pretty funny story. There's been times where I just, when, when I was driving down the street, whoosh, I popped it and started spraying all over the place. And I was just like, pull over, uh, set the count on, can on the ground, close the door, and then wait for it to stop spraying and then put it back, dump it out. <clears throat> um, anyways. She asked about all the terminal devices, uh, all the hooks she, she put in their hooks. 
but I'm gonna say that's terminal devices. And a terminal device is what is on the end of your uh, socket. This is iron bill. Iron bill looks like a bird. It has an iron bill, that's his head. And where his eye is, right there. And then he has a long beak. Uh, this is the farmer's hook and they have a little notch here that can hold a nail. This thing right here uh, inside the grip is serrated. Um, also has another surface you can hold things with. This front part, I'm going to call that the platypus bill. Uh, and um, it's it was built for farmers. Sometimes farmers lost their hands getting them caught in machinery. I had to try this hook because she asked me all my experiences with all the hooks and I, I basically have this hook lying around and it doesn't do much. Uh, I've never given it a shot. I've never given it a try. Um, so I've been wearing this hook for like eight hours. So the hole is uh, the perfect shape for a handle. I used it on my uh, impact drill gun uh, and it, it fit pretty good. So it's kind of a working hook. Uh, so the, the upsides to this, I would say it is um it is strong and it's a working hook the 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 rubber nitrile it won't uh lose rubber nitrile because it doesn't have it although i have seen where this serrated stuff gets smaller and smaller and pretty soon it's really slippery so it doesn't doesn't have that advantage of never losing grip but uh um I don't see any of the hooks that, that do have that advantage. Um, so I would say the advantage of this is, is just it's built to do certain things like working. Um, and, and what I would say to anybody that's trying to buy and, and decide on a terminal device, look at the things you love the most or the things you do the most and find the one that helps you do that the most. So there's a difference between leg amputees and arm amputees. There's, I mean, we obviously know the obvious difference, but there's another difference. When designing a leg, legs don't do as many things. It's almost like the hands are like a Swiss knife. Uh, it does all the things and so in order for a person to replace hands, they gotta have multiple, multiple different things, different terminal devices. Um, but I wanted to show you the things I do the most. And uh, the things I do the most is one, I drink these sodas. So I brought a soda here. Uh, I drop things like coins. I got a, a big old a dollar coin and I drop credit cards and I and I got a, a card here so my biggest thing is if I'm gonna wear a hook can it do these three things uh, if I'm talking about holding this can I would not trust holding this can with this thing maybe oh there it goes okay it can hold it I'm scared that this right here is going to puncture. If I grab this can, I was afraid of this point going puncturing the can. And I've had a lot of punctured cans over my 10 year stint with uh, prosthesis. Oh, yeah, I knew it. Oh, uh, I knew this thing would pop a can. And I was right. Well, that was exciting. Uh, anyways, we know that this guy cannot hold a can. 
And I, I mean, it depends on how many rubber bands you have. I'm putting four on here and it just punctured that can like crazy. Can it open a can? I think I can open a can with this guy. Uh, hopefully we don't have soda on the lens and I opened it. Now, the good thing about having, well, it's not a good thing, but uh, being a bilateral amputee, you can always run one of this and one of this. All right, cleaned up my mess and then communicated on Facebook. So those, those are the things that I'm looking for in a hand is to be able to hold a can. But now, because I'm bilateral, I'm able to use this on the right hand and this on the left hand. But, let's say our left hand is full and now we can't hold the can. Uh, let's try this, picking up a credit card. Now, the crazy thing about this is, is, is a canted hook, which means it's twisted. What happens with that is it doesn't have, when it's picking up things, it's it's, it's kind of slanted. So what you want to do when you're working with one of these uh, canted kinds is you want to use your other hook, kind of flip up the edge, and then you can get that credit card. Uh, could I insert this credit card into a gas gas meter, gas machine. I think I could if I bent down low enough. Coins, I drop a lot of coins. So can I pick up this coin? Let's see if it can do it with canted. Yes, it can. It does have sharp nails. And that's what I was worried about when it, when I popped a can. Uh, but I think that this part also popped a can. Uh, it also has this little grabber on top where I can go like this, but it, I don't think it was meant for that. This one, I call it the hamburger hand of Helm's Deep. And I named it the hamburger hand because it was for hamburgers. In my opinion, the adjustability gave it, uh, uh, a light grip so that you wouldn't smash the hamburger and then you could switch it back to a stronger grip uh, and you can also you change this rubber band out or double it up and then make it even stronger um, that's made by tough wear prosthetics and I call it the ha hamburger hand because it holds hamburgers and helms deep it just because it looks like something that came out of uh, helms deep I used to carry this guy around all the time and what I used to use it for was to eat hamburgers. The variable adjustment made it so I wouldn't smash hamburgers. Toughwear Prosthetics, they are a pretty good company. Their his name, the guy that runs it, his uh, name is Brad Veach and I like him because he understands the money side shouldn't be the number one thing that prevents someone from having a prosthesis. And uh, I saw Brad one time give away like a piece of equipment that I would say was ranked it was be around twenty thousand dollars worth of prosthetics to a guy from Haiti so that he could have a prosthesis, just one, at least one side. I like it because it enabled me to eat hamburgers when I was just starting. Uh, and you can see, I can, op I can hold this can without smashing it. One thing I probably couldn't do is open the tab Now, I had a, a set of these that he let me borrow, and the fingers, the fingers are removable, so they're changeable, uh, and so is this grip is changeable, so like if you run out, you can get a new grip. 
the fingers on my first pair, they weren't made of metal. These are made of metal. I believe it's aluminum. But if I had a tighter grip, I might be able to pick up this coin. I mean, I'm as tight as it can go. And then this card, just the way it closes makes that hard. Uh, and so I, I stopped carrying these because I learned how to hold a hamburger with my hooks by holding the tension but these are very handy uh, and they're light they're not that heavy to carry around this one <clears throat> talk about this in a little bit it's called the jaws it's made by trs uh, bob radosi he's a, a one hand amputee and he makes a lot of sports prostheses and it has the same concept as uh, the hamburger hand of Helm's Deep. Uh, you can adjust the strength of the spring by moving that lever down. That makes it a light grip and then a stronger grip when you move that thing all the way up. And that's a stronger grip. This one is more of a do stuff uh, like hold a paddle on a paddle canoe, the paddle of the canoes, uh, shovels, rock bars. Um, and the upside to this is just the adjustability, and it's supposed to be stronger. Uh, can it fit a can in here? Yes. It's going to squeeze it though and it's going to smash that can. Can it fit it on the lowest setting and hold it? Yes, but I'm afraid it will let go. Let's try it. Yes, maybe. Oh yeah. There. Can it pick up a coin? I doubt it. I'm gonna put it on a tighter grip. And the problem is, is uh, how these two come together. It, and I also like the variable adjustment. But the grip, the grip pattern is is tough to grip anything. Like if I was to try to grab this credit card, good luck. The only way I could do it is if I had this as a helper, which I did for my other hand. Yeah, see, good luck. That's, I can do it. Don't worry, but it's gonna be hard. So, that's the test you wanna know. Can I do the things that I, I like to do or I do the most? This is a 555 and you could, all my videos I'm using a 555. The way that I got to be using a 555 is because the grip opens big and I was uh, using a canted hook at first and uh, I was just like why can't this open any wider and uh, finally I found these so this last one is my favorite it opens the biggest I can go to the theater and get the big cups and it will open big enough to get it. Uh, it can pick up this coin. It can pick up this card, credit card, or say a credit card falls down. Just as with all the other ones I needed help, but sometimes I can get them.
sometimes you can push it against something that has a little bit of weight or you can just use both hands and get it uh, and that's what affects my decision on what to wear the most that's why I'm going with these a lot of the things is with these hooks a lot of guys use a lot of rubber bands and uh, I mean it's good for grip really good uh, because it holds stronger but sometimes you can figure out how to get things without uh, um, by the angle so if I'm picking up something like a box and I'm holding it like this where the hooks are vertical now we're we're taking into account slipping but let's say the box has holes in the side and I pick it up like this it's gonna take a lot more to slide out a lot more weight it's gonna be able to carry a lot more weight before it would open this top hook and so a lot of it's about the angle the angle of the dangle as they would say in line work but before I go there's someone that has done also a great job of doing all these these uh, studies on hooks and and things like that and his name is Swiss Wolf and he still has a YouTube channel he has a website and check out his website he has like pros and cons and diagrams and all kinds of good stuff okay so that was a little bit about all the hooks I've used this this one I didn't cover any uh, myoelectric hooks because I, I don't use them that much but I would if you um, if you insist so if you say in the comments I want to see the myoelectric ones okay I'll show you the ones I don't have that many um, but uh, thank you for watching for everyone out there thank you for subscribing all the redditors you guys did good I forgot to mention Imgur Imgur. I don't use that app very much, but uh, a lot of my subscribers came from Imgur, and I'm going to show you a picture. Uh, but uh, a lot of them came from Imgur, so shout out to those. If you're from Imgur, comment in the, the comments. Do a few live shows. Also, if you want to be interviewed by me, let me know that too. And tell me what you want to be interviewed about. I would love to interview all of you, especially if you have something good to uh, contribute or share or, or a story that's uh, encouraging or a story that's inspiring. Let me know. We'll see if we can uh, do some sort of uh, interview. Uh, the uh, zoom 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 capoeira murder okay see you later